Hello, Banning Lewis Prep Academy families. We hope this message finds you doing well. Welcome to the 24-25 school year. We are so excited to have you guys back. Uh, Mr. Shaw and the facilities team have been working hard to use some of our Banning Lewis Ranch Schools Foundation donation money from last year to update our science classrooms. So if you have a high schooler, they may be in one of those updated uh, state-of-the-art science classrooms. So we're very excited for that. We've also had our new teachers on campus this week going through Capturing Kids Hearts training, and we are welcoming back our returning staff next week to get them geared up to give your students an amazing educational experience for this year. We want to talk through a couple of points so you can be prepared for the school year. Uh, first and foremost, the Saddle Up for School event is happening tomorrow from 12 to 4 p.m. at the Banning Lewis Prep Campus. Uh, we're going to have bounce houses, games on the field. We're going to have school-based organizations like our school board, uh, our parent-teacher organization, our booster club, school accountability committee, as well as our give partners and various other people are going to be visiting. We have a petting zoo and pony rides for $5. So bring the family out, have some fun, um, and bring some uh, money to support local business. We'll have food trucks around. I think we have 10 food trucks. We're hoping to have uh, well over a thousand people present tomorrow at Saddle Up. Uh, the next item is our power school rollover is slotted to happen on by Monday at 4 p.m. So be on the lookout for communication that will send you your login information so you can see your students' schedule and uh, get them prepared for the school year. Um, at Roundup, the counselors will only be able to address schedule issues that um, are in the instances of when a student has a double booked class or if they have a hole in their schedule. So like if second block doesn't have a class at all, they'll be able to address that. Um, so those are the only two schedule changes or schedules that we'll be able to review at Roundup. Um, for typical schedule change requests, you can visit our uh, counselors in room 234. They're going to have a Google form that students fill out, and there's going to be a window of time when students can request schedule changes, and those will be reviewed during the school year. Uh, more about Roundup. We're doing it a little bit different this year. Uh, based on the feedback survey that we sent, that the School Accountability Committee sent at the end of last year, and uh, we also sent responses out over the summer from the principals. Um, we're doing Roundup a little bit different this year. We have uh, five stations that we are requiring families to go through. When you arrive at Roundup, you are going to receive uh, two pieces of paper. One is going to be a map of the school, and you will also receive a uh, Roundup checklist where you are going to see the highlighted in yellow. You can see it on the screen here. For instance, dress code, everyone's favorite subject. Um, you are going to be required to go to that so we can have clarity around that communication and what we are expecting. Um, those required stations are going to fill up. We have them in classrooms and um, we're seeking some grace in this area because when they fill up, they're going to turn a sign that says the session is full and we're going to ask you to wait for the next session to start. But if you aren't able to get into a session, you can go to the 20 other available places. In the gymnasium, we're going to have many school-based organizations and athletic programs, so on and so forth, that you can opt into visiting. So you will have time to check out other areas while um, you are not in one of those required sessions. So um, that is how Roundup is going to run. Attached in the newsletter are two PDFs. It's uh, the map and the checklist. So please open that up, take a look at it, make a plan, and um, you will receive those pieces of paper when you come on site to Roundup on Tuesday of next week. So we are very excited to see you all. Um, the next component is uh, sixth and ninth grade. They have their first day of school on Friday of next week, uh, August 2nd. They're 7.45 a.m. to 11.30. They're doing a half day uh, to get acquainted with the school and get acquainted with their schedules, and uh, they will move on from there. And then the big day is August 5th. August 5th is our first day of school for all students. 
uh, starting at 745. Doors open at 730 a.m. Uh, drop your students. And um, as far as materials are concerned, class supplies, uh, do not bring any of those to Roundup. You can bring them all on the first day of school. Just send your student with them. We know the backpacks are a little heavy on that first day, but uh, teachers will get those um, distributed and taken out. Some will be left in the classroom. Some will stay with your student in their backpack, but uh, we will see them on their first day of school. We are so excited to see you guys. We'll see you at Saddle Up and Roundup next week. Take care, Stallions.